Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 16th and the 23rd of June 2018. So, in the Northern Hemisphere we'll be reaching this week the summer solstice, the first official beginning of summer and the longest day of the year and the opposite in the Southern Hemisphere, the first official day of winter and the shortest day of the year and of course all that light or darkness have energetic and esoteric consequences and we'll, we'll be talking about the, the, the use we can do of these energies uh, in the, of these energies a little later on uh, through the video but I would like to look at the sky's picture at the time that the longest day or the solstice arrives and when you look at the picture of the sky at that time you can see that the two themes that have been playing out in the last several weeks last several months actually through uh, the celestial dome one the theme of relationships and the turbulence that we experienced in relationships the agitation the need to walk forward the the thinking about upgrading and change and of course the judgmentalism that uh, that that uh, re-entered our discourse and 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 when we come to the realms of communication we've been coming to a time a peak in which our words and actions and movement through life is tested is trialed and there's an opposition this saturday the 16th between mercury the planet of communication and thought and our left brains and our navigation and assimilation not assimilation but interaction with our surroundings opposing Saturn the great judge so if our words and actions and movement forward is not feasible is not rooted in the ground of reality is judged to be unfeasible we'll suffer through this time we'll be proven false we'll be judged uh, lacking and reality will show us that we're not yet matured and and reach the level of responsibility that we need to take that step forward however we will need to be on guard from the other side of the coin as well if we find out that others have been mistaken in our lives that the, their words were not backed up that the their ideas was were proven as a mistake we need to be not uh, uh, we need to be careful not to be too much of harsh judge and cold-hearted <coughs> ourselves and it <coughs> was because astrologer children might be watching <laughs> anyway so this is Saturday and we're reaching this opposition and Saturday the Leo moon is going to be on the north node conjunct Venus opposing Mars as well this is another thing that characterizes the sky at this time first of all this is a time that yes we can do great things we can do great things and if we do that uh, if we take that road if we take the initiative and 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 exercise our will to actually imprint this world with something special something unique that we have to give uh, from a place of heart from a place of love from a place of honesty we could be promised great riches or honors at this time but if we are dishonest or if we are unsincere or if we are too extravagant and not modest calamity can befall us <laughs> at this time but um, the opposition I want to talk a minute about the opposition between Mars and Venus Mars of course is our male side and Venus is has to do a lot with our female side Venus is a lot about relationships and harmony and equilibrium and finding the middle road the golden road and understanding the other side while Mars is the opposite uh, uh, exactly it's about my needs and my will and getting to my uh, uh, completing of my targets and my objectives 
It's about understanding who I am and it's about exercising my creative initiative and not anybody's else, not anybody else's. So in our personal lives and in our collective lives, we could see two polarities, both within our character, within our relationships, within the global scene. We could see two groups, we could see two camps, we can see two poles. One that is much more dove-like, much more uh, harmonious and peace-seeking. And the uh, but but not so much of 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 uh, movement and upgrade and change, and the other camp might be much more, uh, um, let's say, uh, I wouldn't say warlike, but much more uh, with a fighting spirit and and much more male in its orientation, but much more demand demanded of a, of a forward movement, of a change, of a challenge. So these two forces act within us as well and we're having a square between the sun and the moon uh, in the middle of this week as well. This is again a, a signature that could ca characterize some differences between the male and the female aspects between ourselves and others in our lives as well. So Sunday the 17th the Leo moon is going to square Jupiter watch uh, uh, what's your own honor don't think about it too strongly don't be too self-absorbed don't be extravagant or indulgent uh, it's it's a good time to remain discreet tactful and, and diplomatic and not want to indulge too much or 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 go the whole way and enjoy just what we have um, this is a good time to actually uh, enjoy leisurable uh, um, you know uh, time with our friends and and maybe do some sports activities as well that's a good time for it Monday the 18th the uh, moon and Sun are in a sextile that's a cool morning if you are in uh, in uh, Central Europe and of course for the United States move it eight hours or nine hours before the times I'm stating and for the Pacific and Australia eight or nine hours ahead the Virgo moon is trining Uranus in at noon in Monday it's a good day to try new things to go out of your routine it's also a great day to take things forward strategically with your career as there is a trine to Saturn as well and the Regulus moon conjunction which is excellent for business and honors again if you're honest sincere uh, in your intentions Tuesday the 19th we're beginning a Neptune retrograde for the next couple of months and uh, Neptune is is you know the ruler of Pisces in the 12th house it's in charge of everything that we do not completely understand everything that is beyond our perception beyond an under, our understanding or control everything that at the end we need to submit to and fall in line with and we could say that it it talks about God it talks about this world and existence it talks about the universe it talks about uh, uh, the masses and the public and it talks about the other side our fears and anxieties as well at the time that we have a, a Neptune retrograde, any retrograde uh, for that matter, the subjects ruled by the planet can be seen or experienced from a different viewpoint, from a different stance. And here we are talking about our unwritten agreement with God or with the universe or with the world. And things can change. That agreement can change at this time, so we could learn something, so we could see things from a different view, so we could experience spirituality or creativity uh, uh, from, from a different point of view, or sensitivity from a different point of view, or emotionality from a different point of view. Um, nature can be more extreme at this time as well. Venus is going to be on the North Node on Tuesday the 19th it's a great day to visualize to actually do a little ceremony and visualize how you would like to be more satisfied in your life in the future Venus has to do with satisfaction Venus has to do with sas satisfaction you have from yourself and your body from your character the satisfaction you have from your lovers and friends and the satisfaction you have from your income and assets 
So when Venus is on the North Node, a portal opens up and things that are Venusian in nature, connecting to your satisfaction, relationships, love or income, can actually be, um, can have a stronger imprint and a longer lasting imprint on your life. So if you have important moves that you could make through these days, from the 18th and until the 21st, that's great regarding relationships or, or, or your work. Um, things can happen. And the thing is, just don't repeat past mistakes. That's the, don't repeat the past pattern. That's the only thing. And remember that things that are opening up through these days and doors are opening up through these days for all of us are important for our future. So this is an important time to take things forwards. This is an important time to actually exercise that will. And, and go an extra step to understand the other's viewpoint and stance and, and reach equilibrium and partnership as well. It's a good time for diplomacy in general as well. Um, the Virgo moon is going to sextile Mercury on Tuesday as well and Jupiter who try each other really like how this Tuesday is looking. Um, and then trying to Pluto, beautiful, beautiful day uh, astrologically. Of course, that doesn't mean that it, that it has to be a beautiful day for all of us. I mean, if it aspects your personal chart in a bad way, well, <laughs> what can we say? But if it aspects it uh, good, then you could really enjoy it. Uh, Wednesday, the 20th, we're having the Sun Moon Square and the Virgo Moon opposes Chiron. That's a sensitive day. And the Libra Moon uh, square Saturn at night. It's a day that we're more insecure. We could be overly judgmental, and we could get hurt easily. So just, you know, glide through Wednesday, Thursday, the twenty-first. We having the solstice. We having uh, 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 the Sun move into Cancer. Happy birthday, all you Cancers out there! And. We're having the Venus-Mars opposition in the sky, exact, and Mercury trying Pluto. So, our communications become more intense, they become deeper, they become more transformational. Things can be found out, we understand better why we think the way we think, say the things we say, navigate our life the way we do. And through those epiphanies, we actually transmute, we actually transcend some of our past limitations some of our past complications and reach a higher position, reach a more powerful position, which of course connects to Pluto and Scorpio power. The Venus-Mars opposition is again about these two forces, these two camps within our lives. And the Moon is going to square Mercury on Thursday the 21st, so regarding big decisions from Thursday onwards, I would say forget about it, don't do that because you could be uh, too much negotiating the, pro, the pros and cons and not uh, uh, advent enough in your... Um, it would be hard to reach a conclusion. Friday the 22nd, we're having the Scorpio Moon squaring Pluto in the early morning. So it's a Thursday night for you Americans. It's a Friday noontime afternoon for you Australians. That's a time to really watch our emotions, watch out for drama and keep yourself composed. As they said in Demolition Man, enhance your calm <laughs> on Friday the 22nd. Saturday the 23rd, we're having a trine between the sun and the moon. We're having a conjunction of the moon to Jupiter. It's a great day to go outside. It's a great day to be in nature. It's a great day to enjoy vast, uh, big vast spaces. It's a great day to do things that connect to philosophy or spirituality or learn something new, study something new and just enjoy yourself. Um, there is a Mercury Pluto opposition on that day and there is a Sun opposition Uranus on that day and of course we'll be feeling those at the days before as well when the Sun opposes Uranus this is the time of changes in our lives and abrupt changes at that changes that are sometimes uh, not so comfortable for us to get used to but are for an upgrade they are being done 
for an upgrade. So remind yourself that if things do change towards the end of the week in your life, especially regarding uh, um, children and regarding your creative endeavors. Um, and the Mercury-Pluto opposition is, again, we have to watch our words. We, we could be really um, sharp with our words towards the end of the week. And, of course, on Saturday, we could, they could really hurt. We could disassemble somebody with one word. We could see exactly where they need to be pushed and push that button. And we need to be responsible with how we communicate. So, that's about it. I want to thank you for sharing these and commenting on them and, and liking them because they expose the video to more people. And of course, for private consultations or lessons, you're more than welcome to contact me. Have a beautiful week and a happy solstice. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.